okay hi everyone uh, in this particular video let us see one example for the usage of different operator i'm not changing anything here uh, just put it uh, just like the previous uh, example that i have given to the penultimate video uh, the same same set of uh, example i'm putting here and here i will i'll just call use different way of uh, you know using the operators and let's see what what will be the output now if i just put like okay printf so here have to be you have to remember that s is the variable pointer a ps is actually a pointer variable that's why you have got a star over here and ps equal to ampersand of s so that stores address of s now if i if i just need to use different operators so i'm just putting printf print f print of percentage d percentage d and and i'm using s okay s and that should have a backslash so that i need next output in the next line so s so that's one output i'm interested in so i'll get that one output now if i run the program i will get sorry i did not put the parenthesis closed uh, if i put s and return return 0 return 0 and if i close the parenthesis sorry close the brace then i will get output as 10 because value of s is equal to 10 now if i want not s i want ampersand s then what i will do is just i can just copy this just paste it over here instead of s i can use ampersand s if i'm using ampersand can use ampersand s okay and if i run the program i get the address of s that is 132701348 is the address of s now again if i want uh, value stored at the address of s so value stored at the address of s i can use again the printf function value stored at address of s so how will i in the value stored means star at the address of s so address is ampersand okay value stored at the address of s now if i run the program i will get again 10 that is equivalent to s itself now if i write if i write uh, ps i i need to call ps so i'll put here as ps and if i run the program i will get the address of s that is ps because ps is a pointer variable stores address of s clear now again again if i put over here i want a uh, star ps that is value stored at ps value stored at ps so value stored at ps means value stored at ps value stored at ps means ps is the address of s so value stored at the address of s so that should give me value equal to 10 so let me run so i got 10 then the next thing i want is uh, ambassador ps okay that means address of ps let's say address of ps address of ps that should be a new value because ps itself is a variable it has got a different address so let me see that if i run the program i get the address okay i get the address so address of ps clear then so address of ps is a different value if you see here address of ps is minus one three six five five one two one five one 
2 previous thing it was 508 now it is 512 okay. now if I need to put ampersand star ps what is ampersand star ps address of so I am putting it here again ampersand ampersand star ampersand star ps okay ampersand star ps means what that should give me the address of value stored at ps what is value stored at ps value stored at ps means s itself so what is the address of s that is the address shown over there so let, let me see that is ps itself that is equivalent to ps itself so if i run the program i will get the address so ps value of ps itself i am getting over there so i hope the operation of you know the usage of pointer operators are clear to all of you see this video multiple times then only the, it will be clear to you then only we can go for then only we can write programs using pointers pointers has got a lot of advantages you might be wondering till this point you know you might be wondering why am i using this point is why can't i just call directly the address and all the all other things is it not uh, complicating the program not at all you are not complicating the program rather you are making it easy because calling through pointers is much easier than just calling it randomly it takes more effort to the computer to call the programs directly rather than calling see if you are calling it directly it takes more effort it requires more uh, computational effort it requires more uh, you know time so if you are using pointers to call a particular variable or the address of a particular variable that is much easier for the computer so it will make the program very fast and you know efficient so that's that's a basic idea of using pointers so we'll use the pointers in subsequent programs and how we'll see how it is going to work i hope this word video is clear i will upload subsequent videos stay tuned thank you